After documenting health code and building violations for almost two decades, officials at Buganagashig School near Bina have finally broken ground on a new building. Reporter Mel Meyer has more from the campus. It was supposed to be a temporary solution. As you can see water stains from where a building was leaking. But as the school's guidance counselor points out, the former pole barn and auto body shop soon turned into a permanent but highly unsafe schoolhouse. Along the walls, they're not enclosed because there's nowhere to enclose them. Normally you don't have electrical conduit exposed like that. Sweltering temperatures in some classrooms, students forced to wear jackets and blankets and others during the winter. These are just some of the many problems facing the staff and students. Now, the community hopes to start a new chapter in a new school after securing a $12 million federal grant for the construction earlier this year. At the campus groundbreaking ceremony today, state legislators, school board members, Ojibwe tribal leaders, and other community members gathered to celebrate the long overdue occasion. And we all want our children, when they go to school, to approach something that symbolizes the importance that we attach to their education. And hats off to the teachers and the school administrators who didn't have that. Former teacher and current security director John Parmeter documented the school's issues. Thanks to own him for telling me uh, every time some incident happened or any time the furnaces went down like seven times in one year. Despite the difficult years, many are excited for the ones to come in a better learning environment. Two, three. Yeah. School officials hope to have students in by January 1st. Otherwise, those plans may have to be pushed back until fall of 2017 due to the construction. At Buganogeshig School, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. The current high school will be demolished. The new building will be located adjacent to the elementary school. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.